I think everything that you would think that an immigrant has been through, I've been through it, and then some. So you come out on the other side of that, right? For me, it was a lot about what my mother taught me as a child, seeing her persevering against all odds, and watching her go through that just let me know that I could do it too, so I persevered. Walking down Regent Street, what I see, I see people from all walks of life. I see women that, that look like me uh, with hijabs on that, you know, would always greet with a, with a big smile. And if I can't see their smile, I can see their eyes smiling at me and I get my eyes to smile back. The community is not just about these brand new buildings, but it's about also people coming together and advocating for change. And I see that firsthand when I get involved in the SDP that bodies and network of organizations and grassroots, and each of them are championing something. Their story becomes my story, and now as a first generation, I'm living some of the things that are passed down from my parents, my grandparents, and my ancestors. Wishes and dreams and everything is now on me and what I pass on to my future children. They get upset because kids are playing and they're, they're saying they're making noise so they call the police or music is too loud and I got to a point I said you know what like this is a lively neighborhood region park if you don't like it sell your home and get out don't come to a community where it's lively through the whole summer we have a lot of work to do to bring some justice in making sure that the disparity between men and women between racialized and, and indigenous folks compared to white members of our community, like that disparity is reduced so that we live in a more equitable society. Because I was on my own, I had no anyone that could support me in uh, going through the immigration process. The African Center is here to really, really welcome and support newcomers from the African continent. I decided to start it as a welcoming place, as a place we could call home to support our fellow newcomers who would come in. Don't get caught up in the thing that a lot of people who are coming into the neighborhood or coming into the city do, which is to get comfortable in your home, but otherwise, you know, disappear into the background. Appreciate that you are the neighborhood and you have huge things to contribute to it and a voice to use and all of those things are really important and without them Regent Park doesn't exist. Uh, <laughs> thanks to Regent Park.